Hello, I'm Fu Wei Ba. I'm Yi Qing Chou. Our machine learning final project is making funny stickers of your friends, applying facial characteristics to other faces. We will first introduce our project and the major pipeline of it. Then we will go deeper into the data processing and the neural network part of our project. After that, we will talk about the triangulation and the transformation of the facial character characteristics that apply one face to the other one. Finally, we will suggest some future improvements of the project. How do we come up with our project? We often receive many funny stickers while we are chatting with our friends on WeChat, but we can't find interesting stickers to reply them. But after learning convolutional neural network, Martin and I think, why don't we make our own stickers with our friend's face using machine learning techniques that would be interesting. This is the major pipeline of our project. First, we import the source picture and the face picture into the program. And the program find out the landmark points on both faces using convolutional neural networks. Then, after finding the landmark points, the, it triangulates the landmark points to get separate pieces of both faces, which means it slices faces into pieces. Then, it transforms the relati related triangles from one face to the other. So, the face picture is mapped onto the source picture. Finally, we put the newly made face back onto the source picture, and we get our new stickers. The database we use to train our CN model is a mocked face database, which consists of 3,755 faces with 76 manually labeled landmarks. Then we pick out the clear images and convert them to grayscale images. Before introducing convolutional neural network, we should first know something about artificial neural network. On the left is the basic element of neural networks, a single neuron. We can notice that it receives several inputs and sends out one, one output by calculating the inputs with its weight matrix and activation function. By modifying the weight matrix and the activation function, neurons perform differently. On the right is a simple neural network containing three layers. We can find out that neurons first form layers in which they don't communicate with each other. Then several layers form a neural network in certain order, and the previous layer projects to the next layer. The hierarchy of layers make neural network able to process complicated tasks. Let's move on to convolutional neural network. It is a kind of neural network widely used in computer vision systems and usually works well on image processing tasks. It usually contains three kinds of layers. Convolution layers, pooling layers, and fully connected layers. Convolution layer is the highlight of CNN. It scans the picture by windows to receive inputs from nearby pixels instead of taking the whole picture as input, so that it scratches more possible features from the, in from the input. The pooling layer is used to make CNN steady by compressing the nearby neuron to get kind of higher understanding of the picture. Fully connected layer is just using simple functions such as sigmoid function to classify the inputs. Combining them together by many ways, it becomes a CNN that can process image data. Since CNN is a deep neural network, we can't update the weights from the first layer to the last layer. Instead, after we process a training data through the neural network, we calculate the loss function of the network 
and use chain rule to derive the partial derivatives of all the weights in the previous layers from output to input. Here is a simple proof of back pro backpropagation algorithm. It shows how it works. This is the illustration of our CNN network. We use four convolutional layers and three max pooling layers. Then we flatten all the neurons and use a fully connected layers to output a 152 integer, which is the x and y coordinates of the facial landmark. This is the last function we used in training our network. We first calculate the mean square error and then we divided it by the distance of two eyes in order to decrease the influence of the size of the faces. This is how we code our network. After the landmark point is marked on both faces, we use the Lonely Triangulation to split the face into separate triangles. The Lonely Triangulation can fill up the space ranged by discrete points. The process of triangulation can be solved by Lawson's local optimization procedure. Since the landmark points are one-to-one -one mapped on both faces, these triangles can be mapped as well. By triangle transformations, which is shown in this picture and this formula. We simply transform and move pieces of faces onto the new face. Also, we can choose to use which feature on either faces. For, you, for example, we usually use the mouse on the source picture because there is the case that the face picture doesn't have the person's teeth and it looks very weird for a laughing person without teeth. This is a picture of our lovely professor, Case Ross, and these are the stickers we made for him. There are still many improvements that can be made on our project. First, the border of the face isn't blurred, so it looks weird. Second, the brightness of both face are not balanced on new face, so we can see that no the nose part is darker. Also, maybe we can use Generative Advisor Networks, which is in in invented recently to generate new pictures from noise picture and compare it with the features instead of transforming the face picture to the source picture. Thank you for watching.